in this video specifically, I'm gonna go over why I invest in the stock market, what are my goals with investing in the stock market, why it's become such an obsession of mine, why I love it so much, why I wanna talk about it more, you guys, why I decided to do it in my 20s and not later on. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what is going on? My name is Nikki, and it would mean the absolute world to me if you would consider subscribing by hitting the NB in the bottom corner or the red subscribe button and join the crew. On this channel, I like to post two times a week just about the journey of life and documenting that journey. And financial education is a part of everybody's journey. Well, it should be a part of everybody's journey, but it is a huge obsession of mine recently, more specifically, investing in the stock market. And I just want to be able to talk about that and incorporate that into my channel so you guys if any of that sounds interesting to you the journey of life the financial education financial freedom finance in general or if you just enjoy hanging out with me half as much as I enjoy hanging out with you please consider subscribing and you guys if you would just smash that like button for me it would really really help the channel out it would help the YouTube algorithm to really push this video out to people who want to see it need to see it might be interested in it and it would mean the absolute world to me you guys you already know that today is a beautiful joyful glorious blessed kind of day you guys Without further ado, let's just get into this video. The first reason why I am into the stock market is because I want to be financially free earlier than the average person in life. And what does financially free mean to me? It means that I am creating wealth quicker at an earlier rate than the average person. So the average American, the average person will begin to create a nest egg for their retirement when they're early 30s, around 31, 32. So the fact that I am giving myself four to six years before that happens just gives me a little bit longer time time in the market to have compounding interest on my money to make me more money. With an average annual return rate of 10%, and that is the average, it can be more sometimes, it can be substantially less sometimes, but the average of the stock market return is 10% per year. For an example, if you have $1,000, you put $1,000 into the stock market, you will grow that $1,000 by 10% with doing nothing else, not putting more money in, not reinvesting dividends, just putting your money in the market, you will get an average average of 10% back of your money. So $1,000, 10% is $100. So at the end of that first year, you'd have $1,100. Now this is where it gets cool because say you keep that 1100 in the stock market for the next year. That 1100 turns into an annual return of 110. So if you take that $110 and I do nothing but leave it there for one year at an average rate of 10% for that next year in the stock market, we'll put your full value at $1,210. So by putting my money in earlier, I have a longer amount of time for that money to multiply by 10% on average every year. Your money will continue to grow for you the longer it has time in the market. That's why giving yourself six, seven, eight, ten years earlier, you can start to better because the longer it's in there, compounding over the average of the stock market year after year, putting more money in your pocket in a retirement fund so you may be able to retire at an earlier age. So really what it boils down for me is to just be able to have that hopeful luxury of being done in the workforce a few years earlier than the average American. Okay, so the second reason kind of piggybacks off the first reason. I want to be able to use that money to diversify and invest in other avenues. So right now I'm investing solely in the stock market, but if you know me, you know I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of California and I want to get into real estate property investments. Now, it is very hard to do so in Southern California when you can get 400 square foot studio condo for like 350, $400,000. It's very hard to get your foot into the door. With that being said, I don't plan on taking out chunks and chunks of my stock market investing portfolio to pay for rental properties, but the quicker I can gain in the market, the quicker that I can grow my money in the market. If I did want to take some out to help my stash pile of cash for my first investment property, whether that be the dividends, a couple years of growth because I am giving myself a little bit of extra time I will hopefully between that career growth other streams of income that I'm trying to build I'll be able to push cash aside so I can diversify into the real estate industry and get started on some rental income properties for myself because a dream of mine an absolute dream would be a stock market real estate investor full-time having enough money to live off dividends real estate income and maybe do a little side hustle like YouTube or my real estate business or what have you to support myself so I don't have to work a nine-to-five I don't have to stress and I have cash flow and cash coming in from different avenues streams of income very important but at this point in my career I'm not quite there yet but long term that's the goal oh the sun is going away it's got dark in here sorry about that 
hopefully that comes back soon but i'm gonna get into number three right now so this reason is actually the end all be all the one motivator in my life that keeps me pushing keeps me thirsty keeps me humble keeps me focused and that would be to be able to take care of my sister in the future now, if you follow me for a while, you know who my sister is. If you haven't, I do have a little sister. She is disabled. She has cerebral palsy. She can't walk, talk. She'll never be able to live on her own, take care of herself. And I want to be able to be financially independent at the time that she needs me, whenever that is, be able to provide for her, to take care of her. My real goal, I mean, long, long-term real goal would be to have her live with me, but hire a full-time in-unit nurse that I can pay a salary that doesn't pay rent, that lives in my house, in the wing of my sister's home, and takes care of her so I know she's in great hands and she is close to me. A lot of people invest and want to grow their wealth because they want to buy the fancy cars, have the big houses, make money while they lay on the beach and sip Mai Tais. But my want and desire to succeed and make money and become financially wealthy and independent is so I know she is taken care of. It takes the stress off of me, my family, my parents. It just if you're in a similar situation you can understand if you're not it's hard to understand But I would much rather lay on the couch of my 20 30 year down the road home Knowing my sister is living in that same place with no health issues. She's fully covered I can take care of her and that is the one ultimate reason why I am trying to invest and make as much money And be as frugal right now as I can so I can set not only myself up But her life up for success in the future as well and I won't feel comfortable in my life until I'm able to do something like that. Another reason why I invest in the stock market is because I am obsessed with learning and I was a division one athlete and I had a craft and I would practice and work and learn and, and, and just master my craft. And after graduating, I had to find an avenue for me that resembled that. I felt I couldn't find that. And when I got into YouTube, when I got into now investing, education, I realized that that is my new avenue. Stock market investing, real estate, that's my new passion, that's my new craft, and um, I love learning about it. I love everything about it. I listen to podcasts, I read books, I meditate and manifest, I work like six jobs so I can have extra money to just build it up faster. I just finally feel like I have found my hobby that I've been missing for the last like five years because I didn't have softball anymore. I didn't have that, that hole in my heart that was filled with anything. And this resembles a lot to that because I can grind it out. I can learn, I can read, I can practice. So that is another reason why I love doing it because it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me in that feeling and that mindset of being that athlete, being that person who went out and hustled and grinded and just got shit done. It brings out those characteristics of myself that I thought I might have lost and it's reignited and created a passion for me now that I am so, so thankful for. So to go off of that and that passion and that drive and then bringing out the person that I am and I knew it was in there but I had lost for a little bit is the fact that because I am learning and, and absorbing so much information, it makes me want to be better in not only my financial part and journey of my life, but in my relationships, in my other careers, in my faith, in everything that I do. It's really opened my mind to, to wanting more. And it's kind of been a long time coming. I've been on a journey <laughs> since I graduated college in 2015 to find my niche, to find where I wanted to just ground myself and go. And the earliest little taste of that was through YouTube. After that, I got into real estate, got my license and got in that industry. And now it's stock market investing. It's anything investing money and through learning and knowledge and, and now meditating and working on manifestation and the law of attraction it has wanted me to just do so much more with my life. Be successful in a way that I not only take care of myself but I can take care of those around me who need it like my sister to be able to give back to programs that help people like my sister just the idea that life is much more than a nine to five and I used to hear it and I used to like want that but I never pictured myself actually obtaining it and um stock market investing and real estate and YouTube were kind of the first things that like really made me realize oh shit this can actually happen so I've just become more mentally clear and and stock market investing and learning and and going through this process has just meant my mental clarity and it just it's crazy and and I would highly recommend just picking up a hobby that you have to learn and get knowledgeable about because it sharpens your mental clarity like tenfold and it just makes you want to be a better person it gives you drive it gives you hope and I think especially in a time like this but just in general hope is something we can all want and I know we all want it it just makes me want a better life for myself and not feel bad about wanting that and I used to feel shame about wanting that and I was conflicted about wanting that but it's okay to want more for yourself and I've realized that through all of this and a lot of people think oh 
it's gonna take years and years and years and years and years before you even get to use that money or if you see if it's worth it but like for all the reasons I just talked about it's making me a better person here and now that makes it worth it to me because I know I will continue on this journey I will continue on this path to get where I need to be in those 30 40 years but for me it's reignited something in me that I thought I lost and that's why I just encourage people to try to find their version of what this is and think about it helping you currently in your life now so you can better the lives of other people in the future as well. I mean, I work six jobs now. I do DoorDash, real estate, my full-time job, YouTube, investing, respite work for the county. Like I do a lot of things to make more money, to invest it into my future, to take care of myself and the people I love. And until you find something that's gonna make you wanna do that, you're gonna kind of just be in this rut. I choose to invest because it makes me a better person. It makes me wanna level up. It makes me wanna step up and be that person that I know is in here. It makes me wanna just fulfill my purpose. You guys, if you can agree with me, if you have your version of what I'm talking about, please, please, please let me know down below. If you made it to the end of the video, you are the real MVP. Come here, you know I love you. Like I say at the end of every single one of my videos, enjoy the journey, whatever your journey is, and always remember to do assess your heart on fire. And I will catch you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys.